Hi, it's Phil here from Money Podiatry, and today I am going to give you all some tips on how to pick really good school shoes for school children. There's a lot of parents out there about to go shoe shopping. Uh, so yes, and I'm one of them. So my wife and I, we have three children, 10, eight, and six years of age. So I can give you experience as a podiatrist, but also as a father of how to pick uh, the right shoes. There are two things that we're gonna look for when we go shoe shopping for our school kids, okay? The first thing is we need to make sure that the footwear is gonna give them good support. So growing feet, between five to 15 years of age is when most children, will um, their feet will grow to the full size they're going to be. So making sure that they get good support to prevent any injuries and that their feet uh, grow and are stable uh, up to their uh, skeletal maturity, we call that. So that's really important, good support. The second thing is to make sure that the footwear is gonna last the year. They've got to last about 10 months, a good school shoe. So we need to make sure that whatever we are buying is going to survive the year. Now I have two boys and one girl, and I can guarantee you that the boys are rough on their shoes. They have a special gift at destroying footwear. I don't know what it is, um, but they just seem to do the things that wreck shoes. So it's the boys that are often worse than the girls. Now, that, so that's the second important thing. So I'm gonna give you tips that will address both of those issues. The first thing, looking for support. There's a test, I've already done a video previously on this test, but I'll refresh it really quickly. There's a three point test that explains how to determine how supportive a shoe will be. So the first test is the bend. So you need to bend the shoe from underneath. Now you see this shoe only bends through the MP joints, which is sort of where your foot you know, wants to push off in propulsive phase. This shoe, if we do the same test, it's very, very flexible. Now. That's not always a bad thing, but for a lot of children, for the sort of activities they're up to at school, walking around or they're playing sport and all the rest of it, we need to make sure that they're getting that support. And many of the children who come to see us with sore feet, the first thing we change is we go from a shoe with poor support to a shoe that is more, more stable. So that's the first step. You need to do the bend test. You need to do the twist test. You see that's quite stable, as this one is not. Okay, and the third test is the, the heel counter test to see how, you give it a squeeze, see how tight that is. So see that there's very flexible, you can sort of bend it like that. So that's not gonna hold their heel very well, it's not gonna prevent their foot from pronating or supinating too much. Whereas this shoe is, is, is much more stable. Now different children are different and they'll need different degrees of that stability, but if you use a shoe that's more like this, you're likely to get better support and less aches and pains, growing pains, that sort of thing. So st st stability is the most important thing initially. Now the second thing is you need to make sure that this shoe is gonna last the year. The good news is if you buy a shoe that is more stable, it's much more likely to last through the year as well. Uh, shoes that have that good technology and are well made should be around the price of 80 to $100 uh, for most school, like a 10 year old school shoe. Um, if you're spending less than that, you're probably going to end up with a shoe not only is not going to give good support, it possibly won't last through the year. So if you can save 20, 30, 40 dollars, you might find you have to buy a new shoe, sometimes even at Easter or at the June holidays. So making sure that the shoe is good quality is going to save you money in the long term and pro probably prevent injuries. Um, so that's it. That's, that's the two tips. Um, if your child has foot pain, obviously good footwear is a good start. If it's still an issue, that's what we do. We are here, we fix foot pain all day in children and adults, so that's a good reason to give us a call. But otherwise, have fun shopping uh, for school shoes and all the back to school stuff, and yeah, we'll see you later.